Hey guys, are you here with another bit for Blender? In this one, I want to show you a cool function in new box cutter that's called Taper. Just a quick one before we start, we launched Patreon for Blender Bros with Josh. So if you're interested in supporting us, a link is in the video description. And to everyone supporting us already, thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate your support. Uh, you guys are amazing. So let's get on with this tutorial. There are many new, actually, f uh, very fine toys coming with a new box cutter, but this one is really cool. So before, when you, when you, you know, when we needed to create a cut and wanted to taper it, we need to do it manually like this. Well, not anymore. The new box cutter comes with a taper function. So um, if I'm going to, you know, draw a shape and press Shift T, I can actually taper it down. I can solidify it, bevel it rotate it whatever the hell I want and I can still shift T and taper it, taper it some more I can click it or press tab and go to control D menu and in here I can adjust my taper too or simply you know use one of the presets right now the cool thing about this new toy is uh, not just the taper function but also let me just grab a new cube here and uh, but also the way uh, the fact that you can lock it so if you go to um, box cutter settings on the taper under shape you can see this box here persistent which will actually keep taper amount persistent so now if i wanted to you know make a new cut here and go to shift t whoops my keyboard is a little bit tired guys let me try this again shift t there we go you know and lock this shape like that my next cut's gonna come actually with a taper prepped now let's say that you wanted to create you know um like an even cut with the same amount of taper, same amount of, you know, the, I mean, the same size. Um, and you need a lot of these cuts, like let's say, I don't know, um, some small notches like this, you know, and you needed to have, you know, you needed them to be at the same depth and all that. All you need to do is simply hold control and just double click. You need to be, by the way, in the uh, object mode, okay? And in addition to all that, you can actually have enabled this, uh, you know, uh, grid. So you can kind of snap it to a grid. So they're going to be really, you know, uh, very uniform. And this creates uh, an amazing opportunity for some very uh, precise cuts on your mesh. So anyway, guys, hope you're going to have fun with this one. I think the new release of the box cutter is really cool. And uh, so, you know, give it a bash and play with the new tools they're fantastic i'm probably gonna create well not probably i will for sure create more videos regarding the new stuff in a new box cutter so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and if you do need to buy box cutter or hard ops their links are in the video description uh, if you're gonna go through these links and buy uh, these add-ons through the links you're gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch you next video